the War Memorial and Eternal Flame in Kings Park, Perth. Over those hills is the little town of Northam where Hugo Throssell was born. In the foreground are plaques commemorating those who won Victoria Cross awards including Hugo Throssell. Placed in honour of 2nd Lieutenant Hugo Vivian Hope Throssell VC by the grateful citizens of Western Australia. Over 300 names are listed on this 10th Light Horse Regiment Memorial in Kings Park in memory of those who died in the Great War. 134 men died at the Battle of the Neck, fruitless charge against the Turks, and many more at the Battle of Hill 60 on the 29th of August 1915. Behind you can see the tree with a plaque to Hugo Throssell, who won his VC at Hill 60. And here is the name of his brother, Eric Throssell, who died at Gaza in April 1917. Hugo searched among the dead and dying for his brother, although he himself was wounded. And Eric lies buried in Palestine today. A plaque in Kings Park to in honour of Lieutenant Hugo V. H. Throssell, Victoria Cross 10th Light Horse Regiment. Awarded for Gallantry, Hill 60, Gallipoli, 1915. Hugo Throssell survived the war. At the Armistice Parade at his hometown in Northam, he declared that he was a man of peace and a socialist. This is the old state school in Northam where the Throssells would have attended school. 1878. Well, Hugo was born in 1884. St John's Anglican Church in Northam. Foundations laid in 1889. Previously, they helped establish St. James Church, a little out of town and now demolished. The old Northern Town Hall, still in use. George Throssell and his sons served on the council and as mayor at various times. The old Northern Post Office, still in use. The local newspaper, another 1890s building. The advertiser printed extensive obituaries of the Throssell family. The Stone Court in Northam. Byfield House. Whoa. Do you want to buy a piece of history? 
lovely old Aurelia house where Hugo would have spent many a happy hour once the residents of the Throssell family because of its history many old federation buildings survive in Northam and this is one of the finest and many registered with the Heritage Council like this Aurelia house so this is the old Throssell Homestead Fermoy house named after his uh, home his father's um, home place in uh, Ireland uh, George Throssell had this built and Hugo Throssell would have spent his early years there And here we have Mr. Grogan, who's going to just tell us a little bit. <laughs> well, it's a, the old, uh, the previous Marsh Brothers homestead. Yeah. After Mr. Sossel, and I think it was a, a hospital too at one stage. Yeah, it would have. Yeah, and uh, I'd done my schooling here under the Marsh Brothers. Uh, we were here and. Um, yeah, and now we've got St. Joseph's. And you were born in Euralia. Yeah, Euralia. Yes, it was the old hospital. Up here. So this is the um, magnificent staircase where they uh, uh, have a photo of Cecil Frostle's wedding taken on this staircase, which I'll put in the video. And Gogan has invited us inside. <laughs> Subdivided and yeah, yeah. stuff, but you can see the old Federation ceilings are yeah. way up. Yeah, the old Throssell homestead. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Queen Anne style residence built for George Throssell, WA's second premier. Anne Morell was the wife and mother. Yes, we're in the uh, basement or Undercroft, where the I believe there's a wine cellar down here, and probably the servants' quarters, and the staircase leading up. Yeah. Have you heard a story that it's haunted? Yes. You have. <laughs> I have, yeah. And they still reckon there's uh, a few odd things that occur here, with oh. the flickering of lights, you know, yeah. coming up and. Coming on and turning off. It was a hospital for a while. Yeah. And the mortuary in there. And uh, there are many of these old homes surviving in Northern. I will insert here a photograph of a big Christmas dinner held in this house on the veranda. Must have been a hot day. And you'll see Hugo Throssell as a boy sitting at the long table. Down from Fermoy House is May Reserve and in May Reserve there is this fountain erected donated by the Honourable George Throssell CMG and his wife like all Australian towns Northam has many memorials to the fallen in two world wars and other conflicts. Names of the fallen. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. In honour of members of this district who served in the Great War, 1914 to 18, 
the following made the supreme sacrifice. And there you see F. E. Lieutenant F. E. Eric Throssel. These are the Throssel names remembered on the enlistment plaque in the memorial. The cenotaph. The Avon River, which flows through Northern and through the Avon Valley down to the Swan River. Uh, this is the site where Hugo Throssell made his famous speech after leading the Victory Parade in July 1919 from this down the main street of Northam. Unfortunately there's some demolition work going on next door but this commemoration was unveiled in on the anniversary August 1999 and this uh, statue to Hugo was unveiled much more recently bit of demolition work going on today but on the hundredth anniversary of his Victoria Cross there will be a commemoration ceremony on this spot Let's see if I can get there Hugo Throssel VC a northern boy remembered in his hometown. Based on the photograph which appears on the cover of The Price of Valour by John Hamilton. As we leave Northam we'll catch the Prospector train down to Midland where we'll join the Midland line to Fremantle and a light at Karakata Cemetery to visit Hugo's grave. So here comes the prospector taking us back to East Perth. This is the grave of Hugo Throssell VC, only recently restored thanks to the efforts <coughs> of Sandra Pale, the author of Throssell's biography John Hamilton, and Dave Sims. Hugo committed suicide on the 19th of November 1933 leaving a note to say he was deeply affected by his war experience and he trusted that his wife Catherine Susanna Pritchard would be granted the war pension. Hugo Throssell was my great uncle and I dedicate this video to him on the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Hill 60 at Gallipoli. <laughs>